Okay, so you have another question in hand wherein you are asked find the number of permutations that can be made using alphabets of the word banana. Now if you see, let's first find out n. n is the number of alphabets in banana which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now if I place these to see what's the kind of repetition that I have, I put in b, then a, then n, then a, then n, and then a. So what I note here is that there are two alphabets instead of one which are repeating itself. So let's call this as p1 and this as p2. Now earlier we saw that the number of permutation in case of objects which were repeating themselves was factorial n upon factorial p. But that was in a case where only one of the objects was repeating itself. Here we have two objects which are repeating themselves. And p1 is basically the number of times a is repeating which is 3 and p2 is the number of times which n is repeating itself which is 2. So when this is the case then you just rewrite this you say p1 dash factorial into p2 factorial and this can go on indefinitely so suppose if instead of this there were other objects also which were repeating themselves you would have written them as p3 p4 so on and that would have come in here so in this case p1 is equal to 3 p2 is equal to 2 so you write this as factorial 6 upon factorial 3 into factorial 2. Now factorial 6 can be written as 6 into 5 into 4 into factorial 3 upon factorial 3 into factorial 2 is what? 2 into 1. So this knocks off with this. 2 goes into 4 2 times. So 2 into 5 10 into 6 60. So there can be 60 permutations that can be formed using alphabets of the word banana. The only difference that we noticed here was that instead of only p, we had p1 and p2 factorial in the denominator. Okay.